Yo, what is up, guys? This is the Brick Doe here, and we have more information on the 10305 Knights Castle. This is going to be the 90th anniversary set coming out this summer. Uh, I made a video about this where we heard the initial information about this, but since then, we have some exciting new details. And I think, um, personally, this is one of the sets I'm most excited to see official images of. So let's go ahead and get into it here. So from an overview, this is going to be 4,514 pieces. And it's going to release August of 2022, and it's going to be $350. It's also going to come with 20 minifigures. You heard that right, 20 minifigures. Also come with two horses, a cow, and many, many rooms uh, included in this castle. So Promo Bricks has done a, a really nice job here. Uh, I would recommend checking out their site. Um, sort of giving you a rundown of this set and one of the uh, things I like about the fact is that they went ahead and made a pretty detailed drawing here of what we can expect. So unlike the original castle that this is going to be based off of, it does sort of have what I would consider a dollhouse style where it's uh, in the front there, right? It's all the detail and, and everything. But on the flip side, it's going to have uh, open rooms. I would, I would consider this to be most similar to something like the uh, the Hogwarts castle that we got. Now, originally, I wasn't a, you know, a huge fan of this style of building. If they do do this style, I do prefer them using uh, a hinge here uh, and doing something similar to the, say, the Simpsons house where it does have that doll style, uh, dollhouse style uh, build, but you also have the ability to close it and sort of keep it in a uh, compact, displayable build from all sides. Now, I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker, but that is one thing I'm hoping to see is that the fact that you can be able to close it. Um, but again, it's kind of nitpicking here. I think just based on the stats alone, um, I think many people like myself are really excited to see uh, what this can look like. So like I said, I did make a video about this uh, quite a while ago when we got the initial information. And one of my concerns was, you know, are they going to be able to go all out for this? And it clearly seems like based on piece count that they have, but the metric that I'm most excited for is the 20 minifigures. We haven't seen Lego really do this a whole lot where they, I feel like they um, include multiples of same figures. That was something that I feel like they really did back in like, the castle uh, sets in like the 2000s and things like that. And they used to even do it for Star Wars sets, you know, with droids and things like that. But since then, they, I feel like they've kind of gone away with that and gone for more of like a variety of minifigures. And in general, I'd say trending towards less minifigures. But as you can see here, we're going to get 20 minifigures. We're going to get nine knights. I mean, that's, that to me is just, I feel like showing that Lego... Uh, really cares about this set and really cares about doing it justice with it being the 90th anniversary set. I think overall we can say that Lego has done a, a good job, I feel like, in listening to the feedback uh, for this particular set. And I believe the you know designers and everything like that, I'm, I'm glad that we have 20 figures here and we have tons of knights. We have the queen, you know, we have everything we would probably want to see here. Uh, as far as minifigures, and I'm really happy to see that. That's honestly the thing I'm probably most excited for with this. And I think in general, it shows a good trend towards, well, you know, Lego listening to um, uh, customers and things like that, or just general um, feedback from the Lego community. And so $350 for 4,514 pieces. Uh, some of you, I think like myself too, it, it is a bit pricey, especially for something like this, where it's like, ugh, I'm not a huge, like, um, I guess I just really grew up with uh, the era of this sort of uh, Lego castle style, or sorry, medieval style and all that. Um, it, and it's not something I necessarily co collect. Um, so that price tag is a bit steep, I think, for casual buyers. But I think, uh, you know, what you get here, I think is going to be a good value proposition, whether or not you're maybe a huge collector of this or care uh, a whole lot about having this uh, just castle design in general. I think it'll just be a really good build. I think it'll be a good displayable piece. And I think it'll definitely do the 90th anniversary uh, justice. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think about the set overall, uh, uh, the minifigure selection and the style of build that they chose uh, with sort of the open back and front facing display uh, style. And like I said a little bit earlier, uh, it's unclear as to whether there's going to be a hinge to sort of close both sides of the castle, similar to the Simpsons house, or if it'll be more of a uh, Hogwarts style where it, there is no ability to do that. But other than that, 
Uh, let me know if you think you'll be picking this up and let me know if you're excited to see the official images because like I said, this is probably uh, one of the most sets I'm most excited to see official images for uh, given this information. I think it's going to be a lot of hype going into this set and I'm excited to see uh, what's in store officially. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, this is the Brick Duo, signing off.